Okay, in this video, we're going to put this little SOIC package onto its footprint here. Uh, this guy is marked with a little indent for the top of the part, and this package has a line that identifies the top of the part. So you want to make sure that those are correctly lined up. I'm just going to turn this, let's go this angle here. With any part we want to do, you want to start with a single location that you can heat up to locate the part. So blob a little solder on there. Grab your part, get it close, dropped onto the board. Get a good grip on it and come in with your iron. I'm hitting my tripod of my camera. We'll just turn that a bit. So ready there, come in, still hitting the tripod. Make sure you can get your blob of solder. Heat that guy up and slide that in. So as you keep the iron in place, locate the part. So the solder's molten, I can move it all around. I locate it just perfectly in the center. Make sure it's right on when I think it's good. Pull the iron away, give it a second to solidify, and then just double check. So I move that slightly when I let go. So I'm gonna re-grab the part first and then reheat that location and then just straighten that out like so okay as long as you've only got one location soldered down then you've got no problem in making corrections to the part okay as soon as you have two locations then you're pretty much done all right so that guy is now on the board and this guy is wide enough pitched that we can easily solder these pins individually so let's start opposite to the one that we just did you're going to gently press onto the pad and the pin so you're going to try and connect both of those and let the solder just flow on there. Make sure that you get a good joint, good adhesion to both the pin and the part. And I'm going this way, you can see if you get a bit too much solder, it already is freely soldering the other one. Okay, but pretty easy to hit that pin. There, it's not fine pitched enough that you have to worry about bridging too much. And if you bridge these, they're pretty easy to fix. So I'll even bridge one for you. So there you go. So that's actually done. If you do bridge, say if we've got these two guys bridged like that, then usually you can just take your iron clean tip and just sweep this off like so. So you see I pretty much grab the solder onto my iron and unbridge those pins. When you inspect these guys, make sure that you don't see any visible copper on the pads and then you know you've got a good connection. So that guy should be good there. So very easy to do those relatively wide pitch parts.